So let's put this in the ear. My name is Dennis Mystery, and I'm the clinical product manager for hearing aid fitting products here at Interacoustics. Is that comfortable? Oh, fine. Today I want to show you the top three features included in our new Affinity, Callisto and Equinox Suite update. So the top three features are, first of all, the ability to enable and disable the icons found in the left bar of the audiometry screen. The second feature is to, to be able to quickly access and change settings of your fitting prescription when working in the REM module. And finally, the third feature, which my friend Martin here will help me to show you, is the delta function, which we can find in the REM module, which calculates the difference between your measurement curve and your target curve to help you to fit hearing aids better to target. So let's have a look at those features now. And first of all, the enable disable icons feature. So if we go into menu, set up, and enable disable icons here in the audio audiometry module, we can choose on or off certain icons. So as, as example here, I don't really use my masking helper or auto masker, so I'm gonna turn that off. Also, as I'm working in the same room as my patient, I want to turn off my monitor function and talk back because I don't need them. So I can close that there and that'll help to clean up my software. Moving on to the next feature, we'll go into the REM module. And here we can see a pre-selected NAL target that we have from when I first started the session. But let's say, for example, I wanted to change this to DSL. I can click up here on the fitting prescription and quickly swap that into DSL should I wish to see the difference between what we're fitting with, with NAL compared to DSL. So let's just change that back. Okay. And finally, the delta function. Uh, here's a measurement that I've already measured, and typically I would eyeball this measurement in relation to the target to assess how much I need to adjust the hearing aid to get a good target match. But by turning on this feature over here on the left, the delta function, this actually gives me a calculation, which the software has done for me, of the difference between the measurement curve and the target curve. So then I know how much I need to adjust my hearing aid by when I go into my fitting software. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. And please contact your local distributor for information on how to upgrade your software once the update becomes available.